In this video, we're going to talk about how to find percents mentally. So let's start with something simple. What is 10% of 200? 10% of 200, all you need to do is move the decimal one unit to the left. 10% of 200 is 20. So knowing that, what is 1% of 200? 1% of 200 is basically 10% of 20, which all you need to do is move the decimal two units to the left. It turns out it's 2. And knowing this, it can help you to find the percents of any number. For instance, let's say if you want to find 20% of 250. See if you can do that mentally. What is 20% of 250? Well, first, start with 10% of 250. 10% of 250, it's only 25. So 20% 20 of 250 has to be twice the value of 10%, because 10 times 2 is 20, and 25 times 2 is 50. Therefore, 20% 20 of 250 is 50. And so understanding that can help you to do percents in your head, uh, mentally speaking. Let's try another example. What is 30% of 400? See if you can find the answer mentally. So first, let's start with 10%. 10% of 400 is 40. 30% is 3 times the value of 10%. 10 times 3 is 30. So all we got to do is multiply 40 by 3. If 4 times 3 is 12, 40 times 3 is 120. So it turns out that 30% of 400 is 120. If you wish to confirm this answer with your calculator, multiply 400 by the decimal value of 30%. 30% is basically 0 0.30 as a decimal. 400 times 0 0.30 is 120. So that's just a quick way you can uh, check your answer with the calculator to see if you did it uh, correct mentally in your head. Here's another problem that you could try. What is 15% of 300? So feel free to take a minute and work on that example. So let's find 10% first. 10% of 300 is only 30. So if that's the case, what is 5% of 300? 5% 5 is half of 10%. So if 10% is 30, 5% has to be half of 30, which is 15. Now, 15% 15 is the sum of 10% and 5%. So therefore, all we need to do is add 30 and 15, which is 45. So 45 is 15% 15 of 300. And let's confirm the answer with a calculator. So if you were to multiply 300 by the decimal equivalent of 15%, which is 0.15. Let's see what this is going to give us. So 300 times 0.15 is 45. So you can check your answer that way if you want to. Now let's work on a similar example. What is 35 percent of 500? So feel free to work on that problem. So once again, I'm going to find 10% of 500. 10% of 500 is 50. So 30% of 500 is basically 3 times 10%. So it's going to be 50 times 3, which is 150. Next, I need to find 5% of 500. 5% is half of 10%. And if 10% is 50, half of 50 is 25. Now, to get 35%, all I need to do is add these two numbers, 30 plus 5%. So I have to add 150 and 25, which will give me 175. Now let's confirm the answer. 500 times 0.35 is it 175. And it turns out that it is. Now what about this? 65% of 600. What is 65% of 600?
Go ahead and try that problem. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is find 50% of 600. 50% 50 of 600 is basically half of 600. That's what 50% represents. So that's 300. Next, I'm going to find 10% of 600. 10% is just 60. Just move the decimal one unit to the left. Now, all I need is to find 5%. If 10% is 60, 5% has to be half of 60. It's going to be 30. Now, 65% is basically the sum of 50 plus 10 plus 5. That's 65. So, all I need to do is add 300 plus 60 plus 30. 60 plus 30 is 90 plus 300, so that's 390. And that's going to be the answer. So 390 is 65% of 600. And just to confirm, you need to multiply 600 by 0 0.65. And that will give you 390. Here's another one. What is 17% of 800? Feel free to try that problem. So let's start with... 10% of 800. 10% is 80. 5% is going to be half of 10%, which is 40. Half of 80 is 40. 1% of 800 is 8. So therefore, 2% is going to be 2 times 8, or 16. Now, to get 17%, I need to add 10 plus 5 plus 2. And that's going to add up to 17%. So I have to add 80 plus 40, which is 120, and 120 plus 16 is 136. So 17% of 800 is 136. And let's confirm it. So 800 times 0.17 is indeed 136. Now, what about 23% of 900? What is the answer? Well, first, let's find out the value of 10% of 900. 10% is 90, 20% is 20 is going to be 2 times 90, so that's 180. 1% of 900 is simply 9. And 3% uh, is going to be 9 times 3, which is 27. Now, in order to get 23%, all we need to do is add 20% and 3%. So 180 plus 27, that's 207. So 900 times 0.23 has to be 207, which it is. Here's another one for those of you who want to master this topic. Go ahead and find 29% of 700. So let's start with 10%. 10% 10 of 700 is 70. So 30% of 700 must be 3 times 70, which is 210. And 1% of 700 is 7. So in order to find 29%, what we need to do is take the difference between 30 and 1. 30 minus 1 is 29. So then we need to subtract 210 by 7, which is going to be 203. So if you multiply 700 by 0.29, That's going to give you 203. So 203 is 29% of 700. 